to snitch you from the gaming sanctuary. And today I will be doing a full review on XSplit Broadcaster and Gamecaster. Um, there's two very awesome recording and streaming softwares, but I use them for recording. And I thought it was worth showing, because, you know, why not? Um, so over here we have Gamecaster. So it all starts off, and you start up your program, you get a little tutorial over here. Pretty neat if you ask me, just go through all that. Now for live streaming, this is the account section, You just it's where you pair up all your accounts in the settings. Pretty self-explanatory, I'll just quickly show you what all the settings look like so that you'll know exactly. Um, then you have your hotkeys, recordings, now this is where your recording save. So Gamecaster is really simple, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration right now. So if I were to play Minecraft, for example, because... What other game? Okay, so while you're starting up your game, it should say initialize. There you go, so it should look something like this. Um, now, once it says initializing, let me just minimize this so it's smaller so you guys can sort of see. Now, over here, you can, your dial for the FPS is always going to be there unless you disable it, but you can also have CPU up here. So I'm recording at my CPU, so it kind of comes helpful. Now, if you push control and then tab, this beautiful menu opens. It's fabulously delicious. Um, <laughs> here, there's the stream button where you can start streaming, like it says underneath. Here, you can start recording, or you can set a hotkey, like I did. And you have all your other microphone settings and stuff. Um, okay, so now we're within. Oh. It probably won't look very good, but... Oh, Whoopoosh! There you go! Now we're within Minecraft using Gamecaster. And, um, I'm just gonna do, like, a bit of walking around so you can see, um, how good it looks. Because it's, it's amazing. Okay, just wait for my frame rate. Stop it! No! No! Yeah, the Bobby 4K is in the background, because he's ugly. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. So, let me just walk. He's not beautiful. He's not fabulous. Um, so it works for any recording, and it's as simple as well, like you saw me do at the beginning. It's as simple as that. And um, I'm recording with two softwares at once right now, <laughs> so I should probably end that. But as you see, it was really easy to start recording, and it all worked out well in the end. So now I'm gonna stop. Now that I've shown you Minecraft with Gamecaster, now I'm gonna show you Broadcaster itself. Like, it's, the, the recording quality is pretty much the same, but it's a little more advanced in the sense where you can adjust the windows and have multiple windows being recorded at once, or processes. It automatically te detects them, so for example, it detected Minecraft here. So if I already have Minecraft open right now, like here, you would be able to adjust it like you're seeing right now. Anyways, I want you to be able to see- OH NO! Okay. <laughs> I want you to be able to see- Oh, poosh! Now you see everything. Um, so you also have scenes that you can set up, so you know how I just adjusted everything? You can have multiple one of those, and set hotkeys for each of them. So if you want to switch in between and have, like, redefined hotkeys like I did, which are the number pad buttons. And then you have the advanced settings, and so if you want for that, that, and yeah. Anyways, uh, now for my recommendations. I completely recommend these products. I love them to death. Literally, I would die for them. Um, a big death, but it had to be painless. Anyways. I would- I love them. I love them. And I- I simply recommend them for anyone who- who wants to die too for them. And for people who don't want to die at all and just want to record their gameplay or- or stream them. So, <laughs> that's- that's the end of this video. And goodbye.